What's up YouTube? I'm Millie and in today's video we're going to be talking about all the Zoffel bathing suits. All of them. <laughs> okay, we're gonna be talking about like seven of them. Same thing. For those of you who have never heard of Zoffel, Zoffel is like an online clothing brand. It's one of those things where you look at it and you think it's too good to be true because everything is so ridiculously cheap and so ridiculously cute, you wonder, is this real? Everywhere on Instagram, people are posting about these Zoffel bathing suits and how cute they are, and I've always been super skeptical you know, but I really wanted to give them a shot. What I ended up doing is I pitched to Zoffel and I let them know like, hey, I really love your bathing suits. I would love to try them. And I think my audience would really like to hear my take on what I think of the bathing suits. So they allowed me to pick out a bunch of different bathing suits and whichever ones were in stock, they sent over my way. I want to go over the pricing of the bathing suits, the quality of them and what sizes to get because I was super confused. So I want to share with you guys what my sizing is and hopefully this helps you when you are shopping online and picking out a Zoffel bathing suit. I will give you a heads up that although this video is sponsored by Zoffel, they did give me free range to talk about my opinions, everything that I think about it. So this is genuinely and honestly what I think of the bathing suits, some of them that I really, really loved and others that I maybe wasn't the biggest fan of. So you can come in watching this video with complete comfort that I'm just going to give you everything uh, raw and real tried and true it's gonna be great we're gonna we're gonna have a grand old time doing this when I was talking with Zoffel I really wanted to try to get a huge variety of styles so I sent over everything from like one pieces two pieces strapless one strap some with underwire some with no padding some with padding and I I really tried to pick as many variety of bathing suits as they possibly could and then from that list they picked whichever ones were in stock and then sent over a few my way so that's kind of how how I narrowed down the ones that I wanted to talk about today. Also, I live in LA, so sorry for all that, the noises that you're hearing. Um, it's really great. We really love it here. Let's just go right into this as a truck drives by. Let's first talk about the sizing on Zoffel. I'm going to insert their sizing chart right here. As you can see, they have the measurements for your bust, waist, and hips. When selecting the bathing suits through Zoffel, I also tried to mix up smalls and mediums because I just was not sure which size I would fit into because some of the measurements here didn't really match what my measurements were. Just to give you guys insight on what my measurements are and how I was trying to compare to their sizing, my bust is 33 centimeters, my waist is 28, and my hips kind of butt area is 36 and a half. So those were the sizes that I was kind of working with. Okay, now let's get into each of the bathing suits individually. We'll talk about the quality of them, what size it was and how that size fit on my body. And yeah, we'll kind of just go from here. On my Instagram, I did a try-on haul. So I'm going to put little snippets of the try-on haul so you could see the bathing suit on me as well. If you want to see the full try-on haul, I will have a link to that in my bio. So let's start with the one piece. The one piece that I got was their yellow Latisse crisscross ruffle swimsuit, I believe. The size that I got in this bathing suit was a small. I wasn't quite sure how the one piece would fit on me because I do have a smaller torso like my belly button and ribs are kissing basically <laughs> I wasn't quite sure if it would be like baggy in the belly area but I felt like it fit really well if anything it was like almost tight on the shoulders and tighter in the front area but it fit me so well in the torso area that I feel like if I did go to a medium where it fit better here it would also be baggier in the belly so I just kind of like pulled it up so it was over my hips and I actually really loved it. The quality of this bathing suit, it doesn't feel like anything different from like going to Target and getting a bathing suit. And this bathing suit was $16. The next bathing suit we'll be talking about is the one shoulder two-toned bikini set. I was really, really excited for this one because I'm such a sucker for high-waisted things. This bathing suit was a little bit more ribbed, so there was more texture to the actual pattern and I really appreciated that. But unfortunately, the top just didn't 
do it for me. There's these ties on it that I wasn't super stoked about. I feel like without the ties, it would have been great as is. I see where they were going adding the ties, but it just looked super awkward when I tried to tie them together. It looked kind of bulky. I love the high-waisted and I loved the one shoulder kind of sleek look that it gave. But unfortunately with the tie, it just kind of made me feel awkward. This one I received in a small and I feel like it fit pretty well. The bottoms have a lot of coverage, so I don't know if I would necessarily lay out and tan in these because I don't want like half of my belly tan and half of it white. The top feels great. You could feel the padding inside of the suit. It has the one shoulder and then the ties. The ties are just so thick and they just don't tie, they're kind of stiff, so they don't tie well together and they don't feel that great. This is one that I wasn't super stoked about, but you know, it's okay because, because it's always a gamble with online shopping, it's going to happen. This bathing suit was also $16. Next. The next bathing suit that I got was the Zoffel Knot Sunflower Bikini Set. And this is one where, kind of like I was saying, where you could feel the difference in quality. This one does physically feel a little bit cheaper. Let me show you. Uh, oh, look, I'm matching. <laughs> That's cute. This is the bathing suit. I got it in small. I feel like it fit me very well. I appreciate how they have like a hook for if you wanted to wear the strap, it comes with a strap. I don't know if you could see the quality of that hook. With that, I'm not sure like how durable it is. If I did want to wear the strap all the time how long that hook would last the pad just feels very solid you know like those toys where you like flip it inside out and put it on a surface and it'll like pop up that's kind of how the padding feels <laughs> like one of those like you know <laughs> and then the material itself just feels like it's just the silky part of the suit as opposed to the one piece it has the silk and it has the fabric kind of like reinforcing that. Whereas this one feels like just the silk. So it's a little bit thinner. This one was also $16 and I bought it in a small. With or without the quality of it feeling funky, I think it looks stunning on and I don't think anybody else could tell. So if you're fine walking around in that, then it's a win-win. And off to the next bathing suit. I'm realizing although I ordered different sizes, small and medium, it looks like the ones that they sent me seem to be all smalls. I have to check on my laptop the sizes because it doesn't say the sizes on the actual bathing suit. So I find that really interesting. The next bathing suit we're gonna talk about is the Lace Up Braided Flower Bikini. I wasn't sure how I would like this one, but my boyfriend actually said he liked it, so I got it. <laughs> This one is super cute, super tropical. If you're traveling to like Hawaii or Bora Bora or anywhere tropical, I think this is the perfect suit. We're going to Hawaii and I, I think this is gonna be the one I'm wearing the most. It has braided straps on the side of the bottom. So this is the bottoms and then on the top, the straps so are the straps also are braided, braided on the bottom, as you the can top. see. And I think the top is super fun and I like how it has like the crisscross braided back on it. Um, and it's super comfortable too. This one feels just like a normal bathing suit that you would get at Target. The size that they sent me was a small and this was $16 as well. Probably my favorite bathing suit so far that we've talked about. The next bathing suit we're talking about is the floral paisley strappy bikini set. I love the design of this one. I wanna say it's a tribal print mixed with Ooh. floral. Ah. It's not too cheeky on the booty, so I like that. The sizes they sent me were a lot of smalls, so a lot of the bathing suits, because my bottom is a little bit on the bigger side, are very cheeky, like almost thong-like. And this one's a small, and I feel like it's like the perfect coverage that I would like for going out in public. And then the top, the top feels a little funky, kind of like the sunflower bathing suit that I showed you guys. The padding feels a little floppy, and like the center seems like it has no support. So when I was trying this one on, I was like, mm, okay, is this gonna work? But it actually like fit like a glove. It fits so beautifully. I thought it was gonna be awkward because it just seems so far away, but when it's on, it was perfect. It had the right amount of padding, so it makes it look like I have boobs, so that was really nice. And I was really surprised with this one. I really, I really do like it a lot. This bathing suit was also $16 and sent to me in a small. Next. We're getting down to the last two bathing suits and then um, a swimwear item that they sent me that wasn't quite a suit. And I did save the best for last. <laughs> These last two are definitely my favorites. They have amazing perks and let's jump into them. The next bathing suit is the newspaper print underwire bikini set. I have never been a fan of underwire bikinis, ever. I'll be honest, I had zero hope in this one. When I put it on, I was surprised that it ended up being my favorite suit 
out of all of them that I received. So I love the newspaper print design. It feels very Vogue, vintage in a way. This was also sent to me in a small, and then the top, it has the underwire. This one wears over the shoulders, and then it has a tie in the back, like this, and then like this. And it just looks so freaking cute. It was a win. I've already worn it to the pool twice. It is already getting some good use into it. This bathing suit was $20. Totally worth it, totally worth it. Even though the newspaper print one is my favorite, there is one aspect to the next bathing suit that I really, 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 really love. So the Zoffel Colorful Striped Cami Bikini Set. The colors are totally not what I would normally go for. They're very vibrant and I'm not usually a vibrant type of person. The style of this one is very bandeau-like with kind of spaghetti straps. And then the bottoms are like super cheeky. The bathing suit top feels like a regular bathing suit top that you get from Target. And then the bottoms are very silky, like that double layer silk that I kind of mentioned before. It doesn't feel bad, it does feel thicker, so it's super comfortable. And then the best part about this bathing suit, it comes with a scrunchie. It comes with a matching scrunchie, look at that. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? Like a bathing suit that has a matching scrunchie. Ugh. Who would have thought? I love it. I love, love, love this. They sent me that one also in a size small and the price for that one is $15.81. So that is all of the bathing suits that I received from them. And then I do wanna talk about one other item that they sent me are these pants, the pants. So they sent these to me in a small and I know it does look very small, but it does stretch quite a bit. Now that I've tried these on, I would probably go with a medium, not so much because of the waist, but because the length of the pants I felt like were high waters on me. So if your legs are on the longer side, then I would probably go with a medium. But if you feel like you have normal sized legs and every single pair of jeans happens to fit you, then you're blessed and you could probably just go with a small. I do like the way that these look. Like I said, I do wish that I received the medium or I wish I ordered the medium because I don't know the likelihood of me actually wearing these because I do feel a little awkward. I like to wear things high-waisted. So when I wear this up to my waistline that I like it at, it's just so short on my ankles. It feels a little weird and then when I wear it down it just looks funky on my waist and that just about does it for today's video something to keep in mind is that this is just the sizing for their bathing suits I think their clothing might be completely different sizing that is something that I would love to kind of dive into in another video if that's something you guys would like to see let me know by giving this video a thumbs up I'll go ahead and link all the bathing suits that I talked about down below in the description so you guys can shop the bathing suits you can also use this discount code for 15% off ZFCC 2019. Use that code for 15% off on Zoffel's website, which is pretty stinking awesome because everything's already super cheap. So an additional 15% like, Give me a thumbs up if you'd like to hear me talk about more of the clothing side of how they do their sizing. Or if you have any other specific questions or feedback on something that I didn't touch on in this video, let me know in the comments below so that I know to touch on it in a future video. And last but not least, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it's free and why not, you know? <laughs> Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you found this video somewhat useful and insightful. Don't forget to follow your joy. Bye.